Welcome to my review of the Death Star Trench Run Lego set number 75329. This set represents the famous scene from the Star Wars A New Hope movie, where Luke Skywalker is hunted down by Imperial troopers and Darth Vader in their ships, whilst trying to avoid laser cannons and blow up the Death Star. Being a diorama, this set features no minifigures. It would be nice to get minifigures of the characters that were in the scene, like you get with the UCS ships. If you're wanting to pick this set up, the retail price is usually around £60, however I've seen it as low as £40. There's an Amazon link in the description where it's currently £44.99 and buying through this link helps me out with a little bit of commission whilst having no added cost to you. The box art of this set is actually quite mundane for a Lego set box. Featuring the built set in the middle with a red glow coming from behind, but I suppose this is an 18 plus set and most adults don't care about the box art. Me however, I do love well designed box art. Turn into the back we see the set again but from the other side showing the set from the TIE fighter side with two pictures on the left one showing the scene this set is from and the other picture showing this set being displayed. On the other side we get the dimensions of the set and I do like the schematic type view reminds me of the view from Luke's X-Wing targeting system. This set doesn't have any play features as it is intended to be displayed as a diorama. It would have been cool to see a play feature included and I have seen a modification that does make the ship sway from top side to side like in the movie. This would have been a really cool play feature to be included but I digress. If you're really enjoying this video don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more LEGO content like this as well as more. Opening up the box, inside we have 6 big bags full of parts, 3 8x16 grey plates, instructions for the build and surprisingly no stickers which is lovely to see. So here's the assembled set and there sure is a lot of detail that we can dive into. This set uses the greebling method for all the little details that make up the wall and floor of this set. This adds a nice visual effect and makes the background a little bit more interesting than if it were just plates but not too much that it takes away from the rest of the set. Speaking of the rest of the set we have two TIE fighters and Darth Vader's TIE advanced ships on the right hand side with Luke Skywalker's X-Wing on the left hand side. The size of these ships are similar to what you get in Lego calendars, not quite micro scale but not quite mini scale either, but a nice in between. There is also one turbo laser tower near the middle which is a nice addition and adds a little bit of action to this set. Building this set was actually quite fun. You build the bottom plate first then add the little details and the same with the wall plate which is then held in place with bricks and poles. With the exclusion of play features, Lego is heavily intending this set to be displayed and not played with and I can imagine this set looks insane with a light kit which is something I may do in the future. There are no minifigures in this set but as I said before it would be nice to have some included of the characters featured in this scene and some diorama sets actually do come with some like the Endor set although this set does need the minifigures to complete it. If the set were to include minifigures it would probably include Luke Skywalker in his fighter suit, Darth Vader and maybe two TIE fighter pilots but no doubt these inclusions would probably probably push up the already high price of the set. There are a number of printed parts in this set, two in particular is the plaques at the front with the Lego Star Wars logo on one and a quote from the movie on the other plate. The other printed parts are for the ships, on the X-Wing we see a one by one round plate used to represent R2 detail with a surprising amount of detail at this scale. Then we have the TIE Fighter windows which are represent using a one by one round plate and are nicely detailed and fit nicely. So I feel like my inner a child wanted this set to have a play feature and while it would have been really cool to have one that would have gone against the aim for this set which is to pay tribute to an awesome scene from the Star Wars movie and have people display it in their homes and this set certainly does a pretty good job at that. The original retail price of this set is quite high so I would recommend buying it when it's on sale which it usually is these days so grab it while you can. So what do you guys think of this set? If you like this video give it a thumbs up, if not you know what to do. Please consider subscribing for videos like this as well as other LEGO videos and I'll see you in the next video.